So my first question is, what inspired you to become a scientist? Yeah, that's a really good question. When I was high school student and college student, I was really fascinated by the any underlying mechanism of everything. I've always wanted to strive for the top because it feels really good to know new things and to learn different concepts. It also feels really good, I think, when you have that challenge, like when you go, got into those advanced math classes and you had the new challenges, being able to overcome those challenges and those new things that you have to cope through. Um, a lot of times that's a lot of what science is like because it's always a new thing, something new that you have to figure out. How did you get interested in science? I decided at a young age that I wanted to be a scientist. A few years later in elementary school, I wrote a letter to um, the American Chemical Society to ask about what chemists do and the types of careers they have and the impact they make. And I got back a lot of information. And from then, I was really interested and excited about the possibility of being a scientist and really contributing to the world that way. And I've been on that track ever since, really. So how do you use your science degree at the FDA? This current boom in technology requires you to also understand how computers and other programs and things like that that work so those are some ongoing things has there been any point in your career that you not have felt like giving up but you had to advocate for yourself more or advocate for something you were very passionate about yeah you definitely have to advocate for yourself opportunities don't just show up for you right people aren't going to come knocking on your door just because you're cool you're catherine you know you have to see the opportunities that are out there and take advantage of them I, I hate organic chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> have you explained? So have you? You've done it probably a little bit in high school. They were. Yeah, I I took an organic chemistry course. Organic chemistry is really interesting. If you're somebody who is used to kind of understanding math and understanding how science works, as I was in high school, it all kind of flows nat naturally. Everything's fine. I will warn you, as many people have probably warned you, about organic chemistry. What it mostly is about is about how carbon atoms connect to each other. Turns out that it is a math problem. There are a bunch of atoms that are connected to get to each other, and they're connected to each other in a certain way, in a way that math mathematicians call this a graph. What does the word scientist mean to you? Like I always thought, like scientists, like always like mix things together and like make <laughs> things. And as I grew up, I learned that science, scientists are, they have, it's more of a variety and it's more of a wide range of different types of scientists. Yeah. A scientist is a problem solver. Uh, scientists are always probing. We are always questioning. We are always seeking answers. And that person can look like you, me, the white gentleman in the lab coat and anyone else. That person looks like any one of us. What about FDA is so good? Like what makes you want to work there? Wonderful question. Thank, thank you for asking. So as a scientist, you have the privilege of working in several places. For many times, depending on where you work, you don't get to see the impact of your scientific discoveries, of your scientific inventions. Um, sometimes you don't even get to know whether anybody here, you know. Here at FDA, we direct, we make scientific decisions that directly help the public. 